Hello YouTube. Well, not done a video for a while, so here we go. Um, bought a billy cam, a zebra billy cam, and it came with these shitty plastic clips. I'm no rocket scientist, but I know that plastic and fire don't mix. <laughs> Well, the plastic don't last long after you put it on a fire. So yeah, so I took these off. Now I watched a video uh, by uh, I think it's Scottish. But I hope, now, forgive me if I get his name wrong here, but Scottish Bandicoot seventy one, I think his name was. Um, he'd seen a video and he'd, he'd, he'd watched a video on YouTube and somebody had made some metal clips and he put it. He put he did a little video and put it on his wall, and I watched that and I was inspired. Will make my clips, and there you go. They're dead simple to make, you know, and they work really, really well, as you can see. They cost nothing. I want to show you how to make them. Right, now to start off with, I went to um, a pound shop or a dollar store, I think it's Own Bergens it's called in our country. And uh, I picked up these. I think they're for seedlings. You put, you stick them in ground. You put labels on them. You stick them in ground or something like that. I don't know, but I got them off the gardening section. Don't know exactly what they use them for. Cause I ain't no gardener, you know. Um, so yeah, I think there's a twelve in a pack for seventy-five pence. I think twelve in a pack for seventy-five pence. To make one clip, you only need a piece of one. I'll put the rest of them down. You only need a piece of one. You get two clips, two clips out of one, because uh, as you can see, you only need a piece. I think this is about 11 centimetres, I'm not a million percent sure, I just measured it. It's about 11 centimetres. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's 11 and a half, just, just it's one millimetre under 11 and a half. So what's half of that? So that's 5.2. 5.2. Two centimeters. I measure it to five point two. Five point two on the old Richter scale is about there. Guys. Typical some guns right on the markings. There, that's five point two. So now you basically measure it. The that's your half. Make that out there. There. So you make that there. That's your half. That's halfway. And get your pliers. Get your pliers. There's your halfway mark. Get your half pl pliers on your halfway mark. Stick them on your halfway mark. Like that. Yep. Now you basically you bend them in. You see? Just bend it. Like that. Perfect. Now it's just as you can see. I've not measured it perfectly. Sticks over a tad. No, oh. no major hassle. Right, get these ends like that, and you bend them over. <sighs> this is where it comes tough. Bend them over. <sighs> you might need two pair of plays for that, cause it's getting a bit. There you go. Bend that bit over. And same again on that side. Bend it over. Oops. No editing being done, so you can see how quick it happens. And you can get hold of it properly with pliers, that is. There you go, just bend them over. There you go. Right, they're a tad long them, and it's no killer. Doesn't really matter. Then them flush. Like that. That one's a little bit out, so I'll spend it a little bit more, I think. There you go. You basically have that. Yeah? Now you get an axaw and you can trim these ends down so there's a gap. You don't want them that close together. 
you don't want them like that. Right, for the next bit. About there. About there, about halfway. And you bend that over. Like that. Same on that side. And uh, pretty much there you have your clip. Get a little bit better with players. It's a bit fiddly. There you go. On it again. And there you have it. And that is your clip. Bend that one back out. And there you have it, your clip. There you have it, one clip made. A bit wonky that. I'm happy with that. Just straighten them up, you'll get them out right here, you'll want them. There you have your clip. It's as easy as that. But if you're cooking on a campfire and you've got it suspended anyway, you, 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 the clips aren't really necessary, but I don't always cook on a campfire. I uh, have a camper van. I don't like carrying a million pounds, that's ideal. If I go backpacking, I put in my backpack, off I go. If I'm in my camper van, I come back, I can still use the same pan on the gas stove. But the problem I found with it, without the clips, was with no clips on, obviously the plastic clips are no good, they burnt off. The lid just did that. You know? problem with that. Well, pans have handles for a reason. When you put them on a, a stove like that and you light it, you're cooking away, stirring away nice and bonny. This handle now is root down. It's very hot. You can't pick the pan up. You've got to pick it up either like that. It's not really good, is it? You know what I mean? The pan's hot as well. So the whole idea behind it was that these little clips So my stove suspended nice and bonnet. Also, another little use you know, for these things. You bend the ends round. You see? Bend the ends over like that. Very springy. Get your water bottle, your aluminium water bottle. Squeeze them together, slot them inside. Got yourself a water bottle hanger for over your campfire. Awesome. Simple as that. Now I've seen that. Dirt to live did it. He used, um, I think they were fish mouth. I don't know. Over there they must have, we only have pike here that have teeth, but over there they must have fish with big teeth because they need uh, mouth expanders, I think they're called. They put them inside the mouth, they open them up, they put their hands inside or whatever they put inside to get the yukes out. And he used them. They were quite dear. Like I said, these were 75 pence for 12. They're ideal for the job. You know? Pop them in. Job's done. There you go. Now I use them on my log burner in my van. When I got the log burner on, I don't like using the gas. So whenever that's lit, I like to do all my cooking, whatever. No, I can't do much cooking on it, but you can. Um, unless it's quick and I boot up the gas. But if I'm, if I'm here at night, I like to do my cooking on the gas, on the uh, wood burning stove here, sorry. So uh, I have a kettle, and it sits on top of it. I use that now just for gas, because it's useless on the log burner. It doesn't get hot enough just to boil water on top of it. So, with this, popped inside my water bottle, take the lid off the wood, and drop it inside perfectly inside and that sticks up. You hear it boiling, flip back out. 
Obviously, I've got my gloves. I always wear your gloves when you're messing me with hot stuff. <laughs> Pour that out. Pour your bring. Simple as that. Like I said, I see now. A little idea of Dare to Live. A uh, subscriber of mine, and I subscribe back to him. He's a cracking bloke. Go check him out. Um, he's, uh, he's building a camper van. His own little mobile home, and he's going to sell up his house head off into the sticks and do videos I'm quite looking forward to that that's going to be, that's going to be some good fun I'd love to do that but uh, I've got too many responsibilities here to do that I can do it for a week maybe but I can't do it for a lifetime he seems to only it's just be him and his missus and he seems that's that's the way forward he wants to do that and uh, I'm a bit jealous about him I'm not a jealous person really you know but uh, I'm a bit jealous about that so yeah dare to live go and check him out no doubt you'll comment on this video. He always comments on my video, he's a good lad. But uh, yeah, that's what I do. I boil my water inside my log burning stove. By using another one of those, but just the ends bent up. There you go. Oh, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you've learned something. Like I said, they're not my ideas. I found them by scooting through YouTube. Other people's, all the other subscribers, they've come up with them, and I thought, what cracking ideas. So I thought, I'd put them in a little video so my subscribers can see them too. I hope people have learned something. I hope you've learned something. I hope you don't. Saves you a bit of money. Simple ideas. Simple is always the best. Uh, I've enjoyed making this video, and thanks for joining me. I'll see you on the next one.